for our introduction, hospital is an institution that book, staff and equip for disease diagnosis, treatment, medical and surgical of the sick and the injured. Thus, inpatient is a patient that requires to stay at the hospital or overnight hospitalizations. For our proper statement, average length of stay longer due to the follow-up treatment, not having enough medical officers such as doctors and nurses. A lot of inpatient need a treatment due to highest number of inpatient admissions over the year. And lastly, short of treatment equipment such as pets. Objective to credit the total inpatient admission in the period of 10 years from 2017 until 2027 to determine the amount of pets needed by using system dynamic simulation. Methodology Data was collected from one of the busiest hospital in Kelang Selangor. There are five steps in the STS model process that need to pursue. So, what is STS? STS, also known as System Dynamic Simulation, it is the study and analysis of dynamic feedback system using computer simulation. So, the advantages of STS model are can combine quantitative and qualitative inputs from different sources and methods and give a more effective and dynamic assessment of social impacts for development project. There are five steps in STS model process. First is identifying and defining the problem. Second is mapping cause and effect diagram. Third is developing the stock and flow diagram. Fourth is model validation. And lastly is scenario generation and evaluation simulation model. So the first step is identifying and defining the problem. We need to identify the issue that need to be addressed to ensure the STS model get a good and accurate results. So the STS model must handle the specific problem of the dynamic nature only and did not involve the entire of the system. There are a few processes allowed for the identification and definition of the problem such as assign the purpose of generating the model, determine the important variables and components, set up the boundary time to run the model, and classify the model. Next step is mapping cause and effect diagram. Develop a diagram of causes and effect in generating STS model which show the relationship between the variables and components in the model. It provides an explanation of dynamical features of the problem and we visualize in casual loop diagram. So this is casual loop diagram of inpatient admission. An error rate in to inpatient in with plus sign is representing the increasing of rate in causes to the inpatient in and total inpatient in hospital become increased as well. Increasing of rate out causes the increasing of inpatient out but the total inpatient in hospital decreasing. This proves that the total inpatient out be influenced by the total inpatient in and rate out in each year. Next is developing stock and flow diagram. CLD will convert into stock and flow diagram. The figures show the stock and flow diagram and diagram notation. SFD consists of a few elements that link the variables in the system. Briefly, the SAS model can be expressed in a set of integration of the flow variables with respect to time t. Table 1 shows the list variable that need to generate. The next step is model validation. The SAS model need to go through the validation process and the value should less than 10%. Proceed to the last step. STS model approach the trail environment to determine the effect of large changes to the non-practical basis and offers facilities prediction in the future. STS model also provide recommendations and guidelines in making decisions based on the strategic planning. Boundary time, lookup table and other variables and components were set up in Vansim software. Results and discussion. Here is the result from 2017 until 2027 by using Vansim software. From this table, we can conclude that the total inpatient increase as well as for the total bed needed in the last column. It shows that we should add one bed in every four years to overcome the congestion. Conclusion The increasing of inpatient admission in the hospital will give a big demand in the use of bed. So, SDS model recommend that add one bed in each every four years to overcome the congestion. This will help management to improve facilities and will reduce a lot. Term of commercialization. STS is a powerful method to do prediction resources allocation to help management in getting better strategic planning in the future. For example, inpatient admission in the hospital to prevent congestion in bad use. Services offered are divided into two, package A and package B as you can see in this table. Potential client. Any organization that provides services to the customer, especially schools, hospitals, universities, banks, airports, courier services, and many more. So, this is our proof of copyright application. 
for acceptance of publication, abstract have been accepted for IJC 2021. This is the proof acceptance of abstract and our abstract. And meet my team. Thanks for watching.